Just before you guys came over to my house today to film this, I was like, why are they coming to the suburbs of South Carolina? Like, I'm literally five minutes away from where I grew up. <clears throat> you know, a normal guy in a normal city. So, why am I obsessed with making this game? My name is Thomas. Thomas Brush. I have a full-time job, but I work on Pinstripe early in the morning and I work on Pinstripe through lunch. And then I work on Pinstripe when I come home at night. I love being a lone wolf. I do the illustration, I do the development, I do the music, I write the story. I always knew I wanted to tell stories, but I didn't play video games very often because my brothers would, wouldn't let me play them. But that was fine because I was enjoying it. It's kind of like watching a movie. And so if you play my games now, they're not really about gameplay. With Pinstripe, it's more of a story and it's an experience of this distinct and atmospheric adventure game. It's about this ex-minister who finds himself in hell and it's up to him to explore this crazy, strange world and look for his lost daughter. That's kind of the point of the game, is to find out what happened and uh, eventually maybe find some some rest and, and redemption. I've been working on Pinstripe for three, going on four years now. I think that's the hardest thing, is to continually remind yourself of why you're doing what you're doing. When you don't have a team, it basically triples or quadruples the amount of time that's going to be spent making this game. It's like the myth of the guy who's pushing the rock up the hill. Why are you, why are you spending three years pushing this rock up this hill? It, it doesn't look like there's an end in sight. And so, when are you going to finish this thing? It's almost like my last, my last chance to prove to myself that my dreams when I was a kid weren't silly. That I can actually be an artist. But you have to just trust. I know that I'm still in my, my childhood home, but I don't want to have to move to Portland <laughs> or Austin, Texas or Seattle. I'm just hoping that I can make my mark on the world from this little house in the suburbs of Greenville. If I finish this game strong and I make this game as best as I can, I put everything into it that I have, I just make some simple, small product, some small creation that's from my heart. That's like my dream, a really beautiful game.